What's up guys? So for this video, I want to talk about the rock climbing gear that will roll out in the summer update in July, along with the new island of Kishiwa, player housing, new temtems, and many more other features. So I thought, why not go over all the different known locations that have a rock climbing wall and what could potentially be up there. So let's dive right into it. So the first island I'm going to talk about is Dense. And the first location where you get to introduce to rock climbing is right after you leave the town of Zadar, where you get your star temtem. You run into two rock climbers and on top of the cliff is two item boxes. Once you get your rock climbing gear, you will be able to get it. What could be inside? No one knows. It could be a technique to teach your temtem a new move or something valuable yet to be discovered or not. We just have to wait and see to find out. The next rock climbing spot is just north of Brico de Mar. It's more of a shortcut for players who have the rock climbing gear. It helps the players not have to run all the way around this path to get to the top. And on top of this cliff, you will find another rock climbing wall that will make you climb even further up, making your way to Arasola a lot faster and vice versa from Arasola to Preco de Mar. Uh, this will be very helpful also for players who want to get to Sci Park right away, making your trip to Arasola, Preco de Mar, and Sci Park smoother while avoiding Wild Temtem. The next rock climbing spot is north of Arasola on your way to Windward Fort. You will find a small cliff with a patch of grass on the top that spawns the Wild Temtem Hocus. Hocus is currently available in the game but not to players at the moment. The only person in Temtem who uses Hocus and Pocus the evolution form is Lady Lati. Me personally, I'm pretty excited about this one because Hocus is pretty darn cool looking Temtem. Once we get the rock climbing gear, we'll be able to catch it. So I'm definitely looking forward to this. The next rock climbing spot is at the Agmorina Caves. You don't need the crystal skates to check this one out. Make your way through the caves and head towards the bottom layer. You will find a waterfall and the professor. Located in the middle is the rock climbing wall. According to the professor that on the top of the waterfall is a shrine that is dedicated to evolving the Temtem Tuwai. Now currently Tuwai can only evolve into Tuvine with the help of the crystal shrine in Tumaka. Now this shrine will be capable of evolving 2i to a different type. If I had to guess maybe a wild type, we just have to wait and see. The last rock climbing spot is on the south east side of the river next to this guy. There's no indication of what could be up there, but the guy does mention that he has a salt machine on top. There's also another rock climbing wall on top of this cliff. We just have to wait to see what's up there. Now moving on to the next island, Omnitia. There's currently only one rock climbing spot and that's in the Anic Volcano. Unfortunately, you cannot access the Anic Volcano once you lose the crystal skates. Now my best guess to what's on top is a mythical temtem named as the Spirit of Anic. According to Kremlin's short term roadmap, the first mythical temtem will be in the game in the fall update. However, we still need to get back the crystal skates in order to cross over the crystal ice and make our way into the Anic Volcano once again and find out what lurks on the top. So for the last island, Tumaka, there's two rock climbing spots. The first one is just a bit north of the reservoir. This rock climbing wall doesn't show much indication as to what's on top. We just have to wait to find out what's really up there. 
The last known rock climbing spot in Tumaca is over here near the Acid River close to the corrupt Badlands. The guy here tells you that on the top is the Bandit Hideout. So there's definitely will be some sort of encounter with the Bandits again, maybe through a quest. Here's a screenshot of the Bandit Hideout, just more for indication that it is the Bandit Hideout. So that's it for all the known rock climbing spots currently available in Temtem. I don't doubt there will be more added as more items become available in future updates like Kishua. So let me know what you guys think of these rock climbing spots. Are y'all excited for the rock climbing gear? Well, thanks for watching. Check out my channel for more Temtem content. Like, comment, subscribe, and keep on gaming. Peace out.